Hail Overray Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Friday, it is the end of the week. How was this week for you guys? I mean, I need to know how you guys are feeling. How is 2024 treating you so far? Have to tell you, there has been good surprises but like the year is still going on a little bit slow for me but you know what that's not a bad thing necessarily maybe like i'm just getting more time to like do things that i'm supposed to be doing so i'm very excited um but yeah it definitely has been a process so how how is this year so far for you let me know in the comments below guys before we start i am so excited because finally finally after a lot of work my podcast let's talk about this mess is going out for everyone okay you are going to be able to hear it right now the whole first season the first 13 episodes of the first season are out there on spotify and anywhere else you get your podcast okay so go and check it out make sure to like follow me uh, on on spotify make sure to like give me ratings leave me comments I need, like, a bitch need 100 reproductions, like, ASAP, okay? So, we need to make this happen. Uh, and then we go from there, okay? Like, next week, season two is going to be there. Well, we are in season two right now. So, I only have, like, two episodes, two old episodes and one new episode. So, that will be happening next week. So, stay tuned because there is a lot of surprises that are going to be coming to my podcast. Let's talk about this mess, Okay. And if you're new here, well, welcome to the Verbally Troop. We have a lot of fun. We spill the tea all the time, every single day, no matter where I am. We talk about Bravo, reality TV. We mention it all, okay? So if you know what to do, subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, it is time to talk about Vanderpump Rules because... <sighs> This Raquel Rachel little girl, she really thought that she was going to be able to come for Lisa Vanderpump and the Lisa Vanderpump queen it was going to like stay quiet. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. Because uh, the premiere of Vanderpump Rules was the other day, a couple days ago. And girl, Lisa was not playing. She was asked by several people, you know, on, on the red carpet about the situation because this Raquel, the nerve, the nerve of this girl to go and say that Lisa was using Graham, like the dog, for a storyline and to compare her, her, her situation to Poppy Gate and Dorit Kemsley back in the day. I was like, what this bitch? I was like, oh my God, no, I can't. I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna like, no, okay? And I'm so glad that Lisa came forward, you know, and she says, like, well, you're not important enough to hate. Sit down, you know. Girl, Lisa said, first of all, she says, like, well, you know what? You are a liar, okay? You are a known liar. You have been lying about everything. Your war has no worth whatsoever, okay? Second of all, something that Lisa said that is very important because this, we all know it is true, is that <coughs> dogs and dogs' lives is one, is probably the most important thing on Lisa Vanderpump's life. You know, she has dedicated her life, her, her project of like her whole life has been to protect animals, to protect dogs. You know, everything that she's been doing, Yuling. Everything that, everything that she has been doing with the Vanderpump Dog Foundation has been to protect the dogs. You think that Lisa is going to take one of those dogs to play a little prank on a wannabe uh, reality star? Girl, bye. You know, she said, I took it very seriously. And she says, the dog was brought to me, you know. And then I adopted it through the foundation. And then I, then I gave him a home, the rightful home, because we all know how much uh, James Kennedy actually loved that dog, you know? So I just don't even comprehend what Raquel Rachel is trying to do over here. You know, it really is just, uh, to me, it's like, why are you doing this podcast? 
you are being so dumb, you know? Like, why are you doing this? At this point, no one asked for this podcast. No one really cared about her opinion of Scandoval like a thousand months later. No, we are not even talking about Scandoval anymore. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know, and now you, you try to take a shot at Lisa Vanderpump? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Uh -uh. This little girl, she needs to go. She needs to go, disappear, go find a job as a kinesiology, you know, or at McDonald's. I have no idea, but like get, get a life, you know, because this is not working out. Uh, a lot of people were actually saying like she should have just like returned to the show. It will be more like horrific because actually Lisa Vanderpump said that she actually was open to have Raquel come back on the show and share somehow her side of the story. You know, she said, if she wouldn't have come to me, I wouldn't have listened to her. We wouldn't have talked about this. We wouldn't have done some things. Yes, we understand that she needed to work on her mental health and after she burned uh, her whole world, right? But she had the door open to come back. And instead, she decided to go out there and spread a bunch of lies you know, to take a hit and all of these people. Look, hate Tom Sandoval of what of all, all, all you want. I mean, whatever, right? Maybe you can even hate, I don't know, like maybe uh, Ariana or Lala or whatever, you know, but don't come here attacking Lisa Vanderpump, the person who give, uh, he give you a hand, give you a job, give you a platform, you know, and now you're going to come out here telling all of these lies just because it doesn't fit your little uh, weird narrative? Girl, bye. I just, I just, I, I can't with these liars anymore. You know, it's like I, until what point we're going to have these weird people. And the worst part, because she is the typical narcissist person, you know. I mean, we all know that Tom Sandoval is the ultimate narcissist. But like it takes one to be together with one, you know. And Raquel doesn't go very far when it comes to this. Her podcast is a mess. She's, I mean, always selling lies, zero accountability. She's laughing all the time. She doesn't really care about anything. Everything that comes out of her mouth are pure lies. I mean, I think she's at the same level of, as Monica Garcia right now of the amount of lies that she has been saying out there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much what Lisa said, you know, um, she's just, she, I mean, she, she doesn't really care about Raquel Rachel. What she cares is that she doesn't want her talking all of this shit, you know, and talking all of these lies, especially when it comes to dogs and her foundation, because that's the number one thing on Lisa Vanderpump's life. You know, it's to take care of animals, it's to protect animals, you know, and it's to find home to all of these animals, you know. So it is what it is. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.